This steel ball can be held up by the electromagnet. Now I'm going to open the switch and you watch the motion of the ball. The ball is accelerated straight down by gravity along a line parallel to this vertical reference line. As you can see, the electromagnet is mounted on a cart that can move. And I'm going to do exactly the same experiment that Dr. Hume did, but this time, while the cart is moving at a constant velocity. The cart is pulled along by a string which is wound around this phonograph turntable, and that pulls it with a constant velocity. When the cart passes this line, the ball is released, as you can see. I'm going to start the cart down at the end of the table so that by the time it gets to this point, I can be sure it's moving with a constant velocity. Now, I want you to watch right here so that you will see the ball falling. I think you can see that the ball landed in exactly the same position that it did before when Dr. Hume did the experiment with the cart fixed. But this time, the ball could not have fallen straight down. Let me show you why. The ball was released. At that point, if it had fallen straight down, because the cart moves on in the time that it takes to fall, it would have landed back here somewhere. But it didn't. Now I'm going to do the experiment again. And this time, I'm going to let you watch the motion through a slow motion camera, which is fixed here. As the cart moves by, the ball will fall, and you can watch in the slow motion camera. I'll show you this again. This time, there'll be a line on the film so that you can see the path. I think that you can see that the path of the ball is a parabola. 